This here is cow parsnip. Do not confuse it with water hemlock as it is very dangerous. Killy killy, death danger. Ugh. Cow parsnip, on the other hand, has been used by indigenous Americans for centuries, and it's often used as a food source for animals, as it's a nice larval host for butterflies and bees. Cow parsnip is also known as Indian celery, Indian rhubarb, pushki, and Satan celery. Mmm, scary. And while this is another plant there aren't a lot of direct studies on, there are polyphenols, antioxidants, and other assets to cow parsnip that have been studied. So we do know it can be good for things like diarrhea. That's my whole point, thank you. <laughs> Indigenous Americans and the European settlers often called cow parsnip Indian celery. And the bugs, and the, help me bugs. And they used it for bruises, minor cuts, and sores. Plus cow parsnip can be used to rub on sore joints and muscles, as well as treating warts and boils. Continuing on with some more pain benefits, cow parsnip has often been used as a decoction, not only for sore joints, but for headaches, tooth pain, rheumatoid, and osteoarthritis. Well, one account tells the tale of a lady who could barely move because of arthritis, but after having a bath in cow parsnip, was up catching fish and berry picking later that day. Yeah, it's not very scientific, but I thought it was a cute tale. Again, I can't say if this works scientifically, but a decoction of cow parsnip has been used to stimulate damaged or severed nerves to grow back. As the leaves are considered a great tonic, you'll often find cow parsnip used for colds, coughs, and sore throats. Cow parsnip, the aphrodisiac. Doesn't sound like it should work on paper, but in a lot of places, it's been used for just that. And it's used to treat STDs when you take too much advantage of those aphrodisiac qualities. Cow parsnip root has sorolin, which has been looked at to help with psoriasis, leukemia, and even AIDS. And initial studies say it could be helpful for cancer and other diseases as well. Cow parsnip tea has even been used to treat tuberculosis as a hair wash and epilepsy. Three things that don't really go together. While there aren't many known side effects to cow parsnip, there's one biggie you really need to be aware of. You can't eat the outer skins of the stalks. The sap of cow parsnip in the outer skin can cause nasty burns, blistering of the skin, and possible asphyxiation. So if you really don't know what you're doing, it's best to get it prepped for you just to be safe. Pregnant women and newborn babies are warned to avoid the flower bud stalks as newborn babies are even more at risk of asphyxiation. And as I will always reiterate, if you're having a tea, no more than three cups a day is always advisable. And there you go. To learn about another great Alaskan herb, watch this video next. Please be kind, take care of each other, and make sure you're always being careful when picking cow parsnip. No accidental keeling over on me, please, okay?